Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Devin Dawson, and this is 5Q4. Shake the bowl, let's see what comes first. Ha, <laughs> nice. Would you rather only drink tequila or never drink tequila again? You know, it's funny you ask that, and it's funny this is the first question, but I am a tequila connoisseur. Um, whiskey is the one thing I should never drink because I do dumb things, and tequila is my drink of choice. So my answer would be only drink tequila. That would be my answer. I'm an Añejo guy. I love tequila. So good first question to start out. And we throw that one away. Ask me what I drink, sip on anything, but I'm a little more California small. Who did you send your last text to, and what did it say? So, the last text I sent to was my twin brother. I've been playing music and making music with my twin brother since I was 12 years old. His name is Jacob. Uh, we live together in Nashville, and he's an amazing producer-writer. Anything that we record in the studio, I usually send to him, and he mixes it. We've been working together forever. He knows my voice. He knows my artistry. And so the last text I sent to him was, hey, can you, uh, can you mix a couple songs for me within a week? And of course he agreed to it. So Jacob, if you're watching, I love you. Thank you for everything you do. Fishbowl back. Out. Let's see. What is your favorite track on Dark Horse? So I wrote over like 700 songs for my first album, Dark Horse, and it's really hard to choose a favorite because they're all my babies, and I got the awesome opportunity to record, or excuse me, to write every single song on the record, which wasn't what I planned, it just kind of happened. Um, but there's a song called Symptoms that I love, and it's it was one of my favorite days recording. Uh, I used my live band and we recorded it all live, and it's just this snapshot that I'll never forget, and it's the one song that really describes me as an artist, so go listen to Symptoms when it comes out. Tell us a story behind one of your tattoos. So often people will ask me, as you can't see, I gotta take the jacket off for this one. Here we go. Derobing for this. It's cold, but I'm derobing. Here we go. So I have two full sleeves. You can't really see them. They look finished here, but it's kind of deceiving because this part of my arm isn't done. But um, I, when people ask me how many tattoos I have, I usually say two thirds. Because when I started, when I set out to do this project of, of, of expressing myself in a different way, um, I wanted to do both of my arms and my chest as one concept. And so they're all traditional Japanese uh, art. I've loved traditional Japanese art as a kid because they make strokes and they never erase. There's no mistakes. It just, they kind of work off of the last one and that's a good metaphor for life and music and everything. And so um, I'm one arm in here, this is done, this is the sea. This is the land, and across my chest is going to be air. So it's all a concept. And I still have a little bit of uh, work to be done on the shoulder, which I'm going to get done this Christmas when I go back home to California. That's where my artist is. His name's Corey Bernhardt. He's amazing. Um, but I'm 46 hours in at this point, and once I, once I finish my chest, then I will have one cohesive conceptual tattoo. So there you go. Dark horse. What is my favorite Taylor Swift song? Favorite spelled with, an e, with a U, by the way. Um, that is an easy question. I actually have been kind of binge listening to her new record, Reputation. And my favorite song is called I Did Something Bad. And it's just got this sick groove. It's like, no, I did something bad, but it kind of feels so good. Kind of messed up the lyrics, but it's all good. It's all about the groove. And then the, the post chorus is like, yeah, you just kind of move to it and it's good. So, Taylor, your record's amazing and thanks for the art. That was 5Q4, and my name is Devin Dawson. Thanks for watching. Call on me if you're in trouble, but the fall on me.